just like the Hawkeye video, I'm late again. So I just saw the new Batman movie, which is awesome, by the way. Easily up there with the Nolan trilogies. And as I came out of the theater, I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to do a Batman project? And then I realized I already had. If you're following me on the Instagram, at Cyclone Slayer, you will have seen that I posted a video of me throwing a batarang. I already had two of these done and I completely forgot about it. So I decided, what's four more? So I've run into an issue I didn't really think about. I have this disc, I'm gonna make it the birdarang from Young Justice, right? Angle grinders can't cut holes. I need a hole drilled right in the middle, so I'm probably just gonna have to do something real stupid with that drill press. I just realized that I spent half an hour making a CD. Hey look, I bled on it already. This is like the exact reason I have an anvil. Now it's time for something I think is very important. The rankings of the battery. Alright, well first we're gonna rank them by something I find more fun. The interpretations of the characters. First we'll go with Batman. We have the Batfleck one at the bottom. He's a great Batman, just not my thing. I like my Batman young and broken, not old and broken. He's still a great older Batman. I'm a huge origin story guy. Second, we are going to go with the Christian Bale Batman. Fantastic, I love The Dark Knight, that's true cinema. Above Affleck. Last but not least, the Best Batman, Adam West. Let's start with the Robins. So there's a lot of interpretations with Robin, and his Batarangs are always very different than Batman's. Batman's Batarangs are always shaped like a bat, but Robin's throwing stars are always completely different. So we'll start with the one at the bottom, what I think is the bottom, the Teen Titans one. It's, it's a good shape, it works. I just don't have any personal attachment to the character. I didn't watch that at the time the show came out. It's a personal thing. Second up, the Titans one. It's a great interpretation of the character. I just don't think it looks that cool. But I, I like the show, I still watch it. Writing, a little lazy, I could have done better. I mean, I can do better at everything. Look at me, I'm making Batarangs. But overall, not bad. Best interpretation, Young Justice. I don't have to explain. Now let's rank these by actual functionability. So, I will divide this into two categories. Again, the Robins and the Batmans. With the Robin throwing stars, it's it's a little weird because the metal I'm using is really thin and that skews the way they work. With thicker metal, these answers would be different. But Titans goes at the bottom again. It's just it doesn't weigh enough to work properly. It still works. It's just not the best one. The Young Justice Robin goes right here because it works surprisingly well. However, it's a circle. There's not many pointy things for it to stick into. And at the top, the one with the most points is the Titans Robin Birdarang. It works really good. Let's get to the Batman one again. Once again, at the bottom, Batfleck. It's a good Batarang. It'd be better if it was if it weighed more and then it was sharper and I could use it like a knife. But the one I've made is a close approximation. 
and it doesn't work all that well unless you hit it on the two points on the wings. Next up, Christian Bale. This one's really pointy. All the points stick in. It's ridiculous. If you're trying to be a Batman that doesn't kill people, not a great Batarang. But if you don't care, perfect. And once again, at the top, it's Adam West. No, that one's a joke. We're putting that below. Thank you guys for joining me in this video. Like, comment, subscribe down below to join the storm. I'm gonna go watch the Batman movie again. So uh, why don't you go check out the website at cycloneslayer.com. That's it. Go home.